What is up, fight fans? This is DJC Combat, and this weekend, this upcoming weekend, goes down the second pay per view of in March uh, in London, UFC 286, uh, headlined by Usman versus Edwards. Three relatively decent pay per view, not the best, definitely not as good as UFC 285 or even the upcoming 287, but nonetheless, it's a decent card that I want to talk about. The main card, of course. Uh, of course, we got Usman Edwards. Justin Gaethje versus Rafael Fiziev, some good fights. Um, Jojo Wood versus Luana Carolina. I don't know why that's the feature fight of the card, why it's so high up. Then we got Gunnar Nelson taking on Barbarina and the pay-per-view opener, Vittori versus Roman Delidze, which of course, I'm gonna start with that one. Roman Delidze's got a good win streak going on. I think four wins in a row. Uh, and now he's getting this opportunity against the top five middleweight after he just took out, you know, top seven, top 10 Jack Hermanson with a very good, unique TKO where he had him uh, back flattened, trapped his leg, pounded him out. Uh, Jack had no hope of escaping. That's his best win, but he's taking on Marvin Vittori, the Italian dream, better than anyone else has ever fought, better than Philip Hawes, Kyle Dawkins. And, you know, better than Jack Hermanson, who he also beat. I just think Vittori has better experience at a higher level in this division. I know his best wins are his losses to Israel twice and Whitaker. Um, and I know Costa. I mean, Costa is actually a good win. That's his best career win, I'd say. But even so, Vittori is of that level of one of the best middleweights in the world. Um, and I just think he's better than Roman Delizzi. And I don't think he's a good matchup for him. Uh, I don't think Roman will have an advantage on the feet. I think to beat Vittori, you got to be a better striker with good takedown defense. You just, you can't just be an offensive grappler with, de with decent striking because Marvin Vittori can defend your takedowns. And if your striking isn't overly great, Vittori can beat you on the feet. And I think he can beat Roman on the feet. I don't think Roman can take him down and keep him down duty to the Jack Hermanson. Um, and I think Marvin can defend takedowns outbox Roman Marvin does have pretty solid boxing and Marvin himself can out wrestle Roman so I'm gonna say Marvin wins via decision uh, now moving up the car we got Gunnar Nelson versus Brian Barbarina I'm gonna take Gunnar Nelson to win this fight you know Brian Barbarina I know he's dangerous but his takedown the fence isn't the greatest even though he's dangerous on the feet you know good brawler good power he could knock out Gunnar Nelson in his last fight, he did not show good takedown defense against Rafael Dos Anjos. Gave up four takedowns. Got submitted in the second round. I think Gunnar Nelson can do much of the same thing because he's one of the grappling threats of the welterweight division. Especially in his prime. He was like a top five welterweight submitting everybody. So I think Gunnar on his best night is better than Barbarina and a bad matchup. He's going to play it smart. He's not going to play to Barbarina's strength. He's not going to get in a slugfest. I think he's going to go out there, work his grappling on Barbarina, get the takedowns, and I think he'll submit him somewhere probably middle of, middle of the fight, maybe round two or maybe in the first round. But again, Barbarina is not known for takedown defense. Even Leon Edwards was having success using wrestling on him. So I think Gunnar Nelson will be fine, honestly. Although there's always a chance Barbarina could win because every fight starts standing. I got to favor um, Gunnar Nelson to win. Then we got Jojo, Jojo Wood versus Luana Carolina. Jojo Wood needs to win, man. I mean, she's coming off several losses. She's 1-4 in, in her last five fights. So she's got to get this done against Luana Carolina. But neither are overly great. Neither are that good. Um, but Jojo is washed, man. But then again, okay kind of underperformed against I, but she won, was robbed against Murphy, got destroyed by Tala, who should have been a champion, um, and got folded by the current flyweight champ, Alexa Grasso. So no shame in those losses. And I think that Luana should be a step down in competition. So I'm going to say, based off that, I'm going to take Jojo Wood to win, but I won't be surprised if she loses. But I'm going to say Wood wins because I don't think Luana has much of a threat in terms of grappling. And striking and clinching, I think Wood can handle herself well. So let's say JoJo Wood probably wins a boring decision. And then we move on to the co-main. Justin Gaethje versus Rafael Fiziev. I gotta take Rafael Fiziev to win, man. He's like one of the next... 
he's sort of of like the new wave of top lightweights. You know, he's the future of this division. Gaethje is sort of of that old guard. And Justin Gaethje has taken a lot of damage throughout his career. You know, coming off that fight against Oliveira where he got rocked and dropped and choked out. I know Oliveira is a former champion, but come on, man. It's, I don't know. I don't like what I saw in that fight. And then even before that, the war against uh, Michael Chandler. He's taken a lot of damage throughout his career. I know there's no shame in losing to the people he's lost to, like Poirier, um, like Khabib, and even, um, you know, Charles Oliveira. But yeah, I don't know. I think Justin Gaethje's time is kind of done at this point. And I think Rafael Fiziev is a better striker than Justin Gaethje. He's got more tools. He's got faster hands, better boxing, um, better kickboxing, better Muay Thai. Um, and I just see him picking Justin Gaethje apart. And Justin Gaethje does not use his wrestling, even though he has it. And I don't think he can beat Fiziev in just a striking match. I don't think his leg kicks are going to work on Fiziev because of Fiziev's Muay Thai. So... I gotta take Rafael Fiziev to win this fight, and he probably stops Justin Gaethje, not gonna lie, and I think he breaks through in the top five of the lightweight division, and I think he sends Justin Gaethje on his way. Um, now moving on to the main event, uh, Leon Edwards versus Kamaru Usman 3, the final chapter of this rivalry. They're one and one. Usman beat him by decision the first time in 2015, and then the rematch happened seven years later. Leon Edwards endured a lot of adversity, but he came back to catch Usman with a nasty left high kick in round five. Had his rocky moment, but can he relive that? Can he repeat that against Kamaru Usman? We've seen these two fight twice before, but of their two fights, Usman has shown that I don't know his style just is not good for Leon Edwards like he almost beat him twice in identical fashion how the second fight played out is exactly how fight one played out of course before the head kick it was Usman going out there imposing his wrestling and grinding Leon Edwards out it wasn't a fluke it was a good shot you know it was Leon's night but I don't know based off what we saw in that second fight and of both fights I gotta take Kamaru Usman to win again. I'm not counting out Leon Edwards. Leon Edwards has a good chance to win. He is a solid fighter, a great striker, and he's well-rounded, good grappling. Um, but styles make fights, and I just think Kamaru Usman is not a good matchup for Leon Edwards. Leon had like little moments in that fight where round one, he took Usman down, had his back. Had other moments where like round four, he took his back. And then he caught him with the head kick. But outside those moments, Usman was consistently dominating the fight with his wrestling, controlling Leon Edwards against the cage. And if Usman is still the Usman we've known throughout his entire title reign, and even in that second fight, if he's not shot from that kick, I can't see Leon Edwards getting it done twice. I do have a hunch that he'll do better. It will be a better performance on Leon's part. They won't be at altitude. They're going to be in London. Leon's got a lot of momentum and confidence coming off that win. And he was able to get up from those takedowns of Kamaru Usman. Um, so I think this time he'll come back more prepared. It'll be a better fight. And I think it'll be a closer fight. But I just think Usman's style is going to be too much. And I feel like rounds four and five is where Usman's really going to smother Leon Edwards. I think he's going to just barely win round three against Leon. I think Leon might win rounds one and two. Um, Usman might start slow coming off that knockout loss. You know, he might not trust his ability to take a shot as well. He might be hesitant knowing Leon also took him down early. But I think eventually Usman's going to get warmed up. He's going to adapt. And I just don't see Leon Edwards being able to handle the wrestling of Usman and being able to impose his style. And I think Usman, he's going to get his belt back. He's going to take the path of least resistance in this fight. And that's literally the only way he's going to beat Leon. He's not going to beat him on the feet. He's going to go out there and he's going to do what he needs to do to win, which is wrestle Leon Edwards. And I'm going to say Usman wins by decision. 48 47 like i said leon will do better and i could see leon winning and maybe leon might win a decision but i can't see leon catching usman again i don't see a submission or a knockout um 
And I just like I said, I think Usman just grinds him out. I think he does much of what he was doing in the, in the first fight and the second fight. If, I don't know, if Leon Edwards couldn't change much in seven years, what is he going to do in seven months? So, yeah, I just think Usman on his best night is the better fighter. The better fighter doesn't always win. Everyone gets caught. It was Leon's night, but I think March 18th, Usman becomes a two-time champion and further solidifies himself as the welterweight GOAT. I could be wrong, but I think we're going to hear and new. Um, but that's it for my breakdown and prediction for UFC 286. Um, let me know your predictions in the comment section down below. Like and subscribe, and uh, thank you for watching.